All right, so now we got these uh, two uh, things we're going to keep track of, the system, which will be our chemical reaction or physical change, and the surroundings, which we're just, right now we're just going to say is everything else, all right? And the energy can flow to or from the system and surroundings, okay? So what's the relationship uh, of this change based on the first law of thermodynamics, okay? Well, let's calculate it, okay? So let's look back at this energy transfer, these uh, fuel gauges, and let's just make up some numbers, all right? So half a tank, let's say that's 50 joules, all right? All right, so the system started out at 50 joules, and then it went down to 25 joules. So let's calculate the change in energy of my system. So the change in energy of my system and change in energy of anything is always going to be final minus initial. It started out at 50 joules, ended up at 20. Five, so finals 25, initials 50. So 25 joules minus 50 joules equals negative 25. Thank you. All right, so let's see what happened to my surroundings. Okay, so my surroundings is started at a quarter tank, so let's call that 25 joules. And then um, ended up at a half a tank. So let's say that's 50 joules. Again, just making up some numbers, but keeping them consistent. So now it's final minus initial, 50 minus 25. So my change in energy of my surroundings is, again, final minus initial. This time it ended up at 50 joules minus 25 joules equals... 25 joules. Now normally, if a number is positive, we just say 25 and that's, that's fine. But in, when we're talking about change in energy, uh, I'm going to, and I encourage you to as well, really specify these signs. That isn't just 25 joules, that's positive 25 joules. Right? So it turns out, when we're talking about change in energy, the signs tell you which way the energy is going. And that's going to be important. That's going to tell us a lot about the system. All right? So the change in energy of the system was negative 25 joules. What's that mean? That means it lost 25 joules. 25 joules was going from the system to the surroundings. The change in energy of the surroundings was positive 25 joules. What's that mean? That means it's gaining energy. It's positive. All right? So there's no such thing as negative energy. Okay, there's no such thing as negative energy. No matter what your yoga instructor says, it's okay. There's no, no negative energy, Josh. All right? There can be negative change in energy. You can't lose energy. All right? Just like there's no negative money. All right? You can't give me negative $5 bill. Okay? Could you have a negative net worth? Yes. But you can't have negative money. So you can lose money. You can't have negative money. So same thing with energy. All right? So the signs tell you which way the energy is going. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so negative means you're losing energy. Positive means you're gaining. What about the magnitude of these two energy values? Negative 25, positive 25, the magnitude's the same, right? 25 and 25. That's because energy has to be conserved. If the system's losing 25 joules, the surroundings has to pick up 25 joules. If the surroundings picks up 25 joules, guess what? That automatically means the system lost 25 joules. And so the relationship is that they are going to be equal. We can say that in mathematical terms. The change in energy of the system is equal to the change in energy of the surroundings. Always, 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 always. But they're opposite sign, so we just throw a negative in front of one of them. Doesn't matter which one. And I'll flip it. And so if you knew that the change in energy of the surroundings was positive 25 joules, plug that in there, positive 25 times a negative equals negative 25. Okay. 
So you could do that. You can figure out if you know the change in energy of the uh, surroundings. So what is that? Equal negative, a positive. So we just plug that in there. The delta E of the system equals a pos negative times a positive 25 joules. So a negative times a positive, carry the two. Hey, that equals negative 25. And when this is, uh, you know, this is just the relationship between the system and the surroundings based on the law of conservation of energy or first law of thermodynamics. But we'll keep on coming back to this several times because we usually measure the surroundings, as I've said, and we backtrack it to the system, backtrack it to the reaction.